Alright guys, after a lot of grinding with both uh, Isabel and Amber, we are here with the final companion quest out of both companions. We already finished Isabel's and now we had just unlocked Amber's final quest. I'm super excited to get into this guys. Uh, if you guys remember in Isabel's video, if you guys watched it, good video. If you guys have it, go ahead and go watch that. But I have stated that in order to unlock the final quest, it's going to be the same thing for Ember here. You unlock the final quest at 4,000 CP. So I'll show you where on the bar it is once we actually get her companion quest. So I, I'm done yapping, guys. I kind of want to get into this. I'm very excited and interested in seeing where this story ends. Uh, if you are too, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it will be finishing the series right here, right now. So let's jump into this. Hi, Amber. I have news about my friends. Silverslip and Chaka have been working to track down that strange ice symbol, remember? Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what they've been up to, but Silverslip got a threatening <coughs> letter from a merchant in Bankorai. I'm worried. What was in the letter? It says that Chaka and Silverslip are putting themselves in danger by looking for Song, and that they need to be careful. The wording is friendly enough, but in that way where you can be certain that the message behind it is not. Got it. Uh... What do you want to do about it, though? The man who wrote the letter is named Isbad. I say we pay him a visit and figure out what this is all about. I don't want to risk Jaka or Silver Slip getting hurt. We're better equipped to deal with any threats. Isbad's in Bengarai. Will you come? Of course. Why wouldn't I? All right, let's go to Is to let's go talk to Isbad uh, in Bengarai then. This letter says we'll find Isbad near the Anchor's Point Inn in Evermore. I think he was expecting Jaka and Silver Slip to show up, so hopefully we won't scare him off. If he knows something about Song, we have to talk to him. Will do. All right, let's let's go into our companion menu really quick. So as you can see, I'm at four thousand thirty out of five thousand five hundred. Four thousand exactly is where you go to unlock her final quest. As soon as you get into Allied, if you want to know where on the report bar it is, it's right around there. So just so that you guys know exactly when you guys unlock this quest. So I guess it's time to go meet Isabod in Evermore. Where is the way shrine? It's on this side somewhere. I'm over here in High Isle. That's that's great. Okay, Evermore is where? No, that's Skywatch. Evermore is where exactly? Banker Eye, yeah, that they just said that. Why couldn't I remember? Oh no, Banker Eye's on this side. Dude, I'm all over the place today. This is Banker Eye, right? Yes. Okay. Bank okay, right there in Evermore. Perfect. That took long enough, but we managed to get it. <clears throat> Alrighty. So now let's go talk to Mr. Eastback. I agree, Amber. Let's go fast. Super fast. Okay, so he... Somebody's literally running around killing people. <laughs> Always nice to see, I guess. So we're looking for Isbad. He should be around here somewhere. I gotta keep an eye out for him. I don't know who he is, where he's at, or even what he looks like, so he's probably going to be up there, isn't he? Okay, well, let's go up the stairs. Perhaps we're going to see him. Oh, damn, I was correct. Why is there so many dead people? Was this all his doing? The Emerald Eye has been a thorn in King Baharajad's side for a long while now. I do hope that you are the key to solving that age-old problem. Now be off with you. There is work to be done. Okay. The Red Guard <clears throat> there must be our merchant Eastbot. Merchant my scaly Arconian Ars. She's not Argonian. 
Okay. Ah, I had a feeling my letter would somehow make its way back to you and your friend. I am Isbard. I apologize for the deception, but I am not actually a merchant. King Faharajad's goals happen to align with yours. What say you to a partnership? Hold on. King Faharajad is looking for Song? In a sense. The young woman you seek is the heiress of a family that runs a very powerful and dangerous organization called the Emerald Eye. The king seeks to put down the Emerald Eye for the betterment of our here, <coughs> but has been unsuccessful thus far. So, what do you need from us then? We both seek the same woman, albeit for different reasons. But you have an advantage that we do not. Friendship. You are not agents of the king. We know of an estranged uncle from said family living in Alakir, but he refuses to speak with us. So you want us to talk to the estranged uncle then, right? Indeed. His name is Azamel. As far as we can tell, he's been cut off from the family business, but likely still has valuable information. Go to Sentinel and convince him to speak with you. He's likely hanging around an inn. Just be cautious. Okay, but first things first. Are you gonna hurt Song? How can we trust you? That depends if she's a willing participant in their schemes. However, the information we've been able to glean thus far makes that seem unlikely. If she's not a willing participant, the king will protect her. You have my word on that. And if she's a willing participant? Then I should hope we can talk in a civilized manner until both parties are satisfied. But all that is moot if we cannot find the woman. Your friends Jakar and Silverslip were not equipped to do so. You, however, are of a different breed. What do you mean? Human? Imperial? What are you, what are you talking about? Why threaten Jakar and Silverslip with the letter, though? My apologies. It was never my intention to threaten. Hmm. I merely wanted to stress the imminent danger you and your friends were putting yourselves in by getting closer to the Emerald Eye. People who cross this family die. Okay, so what else can you tell me about the Emerald Eye then? We know frustratingly little about the organization itself. They're powerful, wealthy, and they have a hand in a great many illicit activities. There are many rumors about how they came to power, but most prevalent among them revolves around a relic. A relic, you say? Yes, one possibly magical in nature. That's what concerns the king the most. Not only do they have a great deal of unchecked power, but if the means by which they accumulated it is based in rituals and dark magics, then they may be haunted as well. Okay then, goodbye. You gonna say something, Amber, or are you just gonna stand there? Okay, let me talk to her then. I thought I knew Song so well when we lived together in Skywatch, but I had no idea she was part of such a powerful family. I suspected she came from wealth, but she never even mentioned the Emerald Eye. I guess we need to go talk to this uncle. Any thoughts on the Emerald Eye? I'm not sure. They sound like bad news, and what sort of family kidnaps their own child? Song must have had a reason for running away from them. But what if I'm wrong? What if she really is a willing participant and she's not the person I remember? If it turns out that way, we will tell King Faharajad. Uh, uh, I don't know. I need to think. None of this makes any sense to me. I just want to find her. I'll deal with everything else later. Let's talk to Azamel and Sentinel and learn what we can. Do you have any doubts about finding Song? No, absolutely not. Whatever is going on with her and her family doesn't change my feelings. She was my friend. I care about her. I know Jaka and Silverslip do too. Besides, I'm still having a hard time believing Song could be dangerous. Why is that? Song had a gentle soul. The rest of hmm. us knew how to survive better, but it made us hard, tough. Song was different. She wasn't weak by any means, but we all watched out for her. She was fiercely independent, but didn't have that darkness to her. Okay. So this 
is interesting. By the way, I am doing this on my main character, just a different build. I feel like I've played with like different builds on every single video. Dude, I'm telling you, I have like a ton of builds. This one isn't even complete. I'm still looking for some of the pieces, uh, body pieces for him, but one of the five piece sets is the Dark Conversion, so you guys will definitely be seeing that activate in this video, should we come across combat, which I don't have a reason are, are, I don't I don't have any reason to believe that we won't get into combat. We should have taken away shrine. We should have definitely took away shrine, but there should be one right up ahead if I'm yeah. Cuz there's a world boss up here, yeah, right up there. There's a world boss. I remember this place. Pretty well. So we got to go to uh Sentinel, I believe they said, right? So Sentinel is right there. Right on the left side of the Alakir Desert. One of the easiest places to grind dolmens, by the way, if that's something you guys like doing. It's a great place for dolmen grinding. Family member? Cut out. Probably in better. I bet Eastbound was right, and we'll find out at the end. Perhaps you're correct. Everything happens at the end in Elder Scrolls. Wait, no, what the hell? That's our man. He was not at the end. Interesting. Unless you're here to bring me another drink, get out of my face. Everyone has been drunk, basically, in both Isabel's and Amber's quest lines, I swear. Are you Asmel? We're looking for a woman named Song. No idea who you are or what you're talking about. Leave me be. Back off, then follow me discreetly. Interesting. Khajiit. A.K.A. Ember. Discreet. I don't have to tell you. You're, you're Khajiit. You're a kitty cat. You're light on your feet. Quiet. You dog. Don't sell me out. Ninja status. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, whatever. I wonder why he wants us to follow him. Discreetly. Seems like there's bigger powers at play. Where's my chicken? My chicken was standing right behind Ember and he disappeared. There, what the hell? My chicken has magical powers. Of teleportation. Where the hell is he going? Azamel, what are you? Why didn't you go left? I swear, my guy looks all pirate. He's like a pirate emo guy. Wearing Jakarn's outfit. It just came to, on sale today, so. Pretty funny. Fish biscuits. This is getting ridiculous. I agree. You should go over there and scratch him to hurry up. Is that it? What a beautiful sky. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. I do not want to get caught. Even though he wants me to follow him. Discreetly. My god, Amber, go scratch him and tell him to hurry up. He's annoying. Bump, 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 Quickly, this way. <gasps> so no more discreetly, now it's quickly. I'm faster than you, bros. I said stay back. I don't want to arouse suspicion. Whoa, that was close. I thought I was supposed to get to him now. Well, he went to the Outlaw's Refuge. Ember loves the Outlaw's Refuge. Do I still have to be discreet? Even though we're in the Outlaws Refuge? I don't know. I'm gonna keep my distance just in case though. Until he says something. My god, this guy's so slow. Half of this quest is gonna be following this guy. The Emerald Eye has many agents in Sentinel. But down here we can speak freely. 
I'll admit I wasn't entirely faking being a drunk. But I know who you are, Ember. I've never seen you before in my life, wine breath. Interesting. I knew who you were as soon as I laid eyes on Ember. Matella uh, Song described her perfectly in her stories. Apologies for the secrecy, but if you know anything about the Emerald Eye, you understand the necessity. How much do you know already? I mean, we know Song's family runs the Emerald Eye, and we heard uh, about some kind of a ritual? <clears throat> Allow me to explain. The Emerald Eye came to power after our ancestors discovered an ancient relic in the desert. The relic gives the women of our family powerful visions. These visions are the key to the wealth and influence of the organization. I'm not sure I understand completely. Most are willing participants, but Song is forced to commune with the relic. The visions drain the life force of the vessel no matter what, but those who resist suffer greatly. The family profits off her agony and keeps her prisoner to ensure it. That is so messed up. Also, are we going to be there in time to save her? We need to find her. Where is she? I don't know for sure. The Emerald Eye moves often to avoid being tracked. But I have the location of their last known camp at the Easterly Eyrie. Here, I'll mark it on your map for you. <gasps> if the Eye has Preston. Gone, there still might be a clue there. Um... What else can you tell me about the relic? There are strange texts about its origin passed down through generations, but even still, it's hard to know anything for sure. All I know is that it killed my sister and our mother before her. Wow. And it will eventually kill Song if you don't save her. Uh, how do the visions work? It's <clears throat> a ritual. I've never seen one take place, but I've heard that the relic has enough power to take over the body of the vessel. During that process, a vision is given to the vessel. My sister made me a very rich man with such visions. Why does the why does this process kill the vessel though? It's just too much for their bodies to handle. Those who are willing, like my sister, can withstand the rituals for years before succumbing. But the end result is always the same. The visions rob them of their light and vitality until they are spent. Uh, can I not look at the rest of his, the dialogue? Okay, there we go. I said too much. I've put myself at great risk today by telling you all this, but I love my niece. Go to the Emerald Eyes camp. Perhaps you will find something there that will tell you where they're keeping song. Perhaps I will. Uh, if you knew all of this... Why haven't you tried to rescue Song yourself? I'm a selfish man. Clearly. What can I say? I value my life. Song became the Emerald Eye's most sacred possession. Saved the relic. As soon as she was returned to them, trying to prize her free from their grasp by myself would have been a death sentence. And you think it'll be different for me and Ember? I would not have spoken to you if I thought otherwise. You clearly seem capable enough. And when Song spoke of her friend Ember, she complimented her resourcefulness. I have no doubt that the two of you will be more successful than I. Unless you come with us, then we'll be three times as successful. Or, yeah. Uh, did Song... Uh... Did Song speak about any other old friends? At length. Her father would punish her for speaking of them. But while I was still in the family's good graces, I listened. I heard all about the gentle Jaka and pugnacious Silver Slip. It seems they treated her better than her own family ever did. Okay, goodbye. One second. Okay. Hello. So, not only did Song's family kidnap her, but they did it so they could force her to commune with some creepy relic that makes them more powerful? Those emerald-eyed bastards. We have to get her away from them. 
I I mean, I agree. Uh, the Emerald Eye might put up a fight, though. I hope they try. I couldn't save Jaka from being forced to fight. And I couldn't save Silverslip from being turned into a vampire. But I'll be damned if I don't save Song from her fate. We need to get to that Emerald Eye camp. Now! I mean, I'm with you. Let's go. Is she... Over here. Oh, Silverslip! <laughs> I knew you'd follow us. Hi! Jakal and I have been tailing you and Ember. Between his sense of smell and my eyesight, we make a good pair of trackers. Ember told us to stay behind, but we couldn't let the two of you go off on your own. Song is our friend, too. Uh, we have a solid lead on Song. A group of, uh, a group called the Emerald Eye is involved. Emerald Eye. That must have been their symbol on the letters I saw before everyone got taken. Perhaps. I trust you and Ember to figure out what's going on. Jakar and I will follow close by if you need anything, but we'll leave any fighting to you. Where's Jakar? He's around here somewhere, either dozing or meditating. For such a large cat, he has the ability to make himself pretty unobtrusive. His health has improved a lot. I didn't have to slow down for him at all. Mm. Did you run into any trouble while telling us? No. We know how to take care of ourselves. And even if we didn't, there aren't many people keen to try and take on a Parma and a vampire. I mean, that's fair. People give us a wide berth when we're together. You don't have to worry about us. Amber and I are going to find the Emerald Eyes encampment then. Dakar and I will be close by. Sounds like a plan. Ooh, the Emerald Eye. That sounds, that's a cool freaking name. Not gonna lie. I wonder if their gang or group of people is going to live up to that, though. Is it? Tune in to find out on the next episode of Amerigamer. Okay, I'm just kidding. But anyways, so how far is it? It's definitely going to be still here in the Alakir Desert, I think. Or did they say? Yes, it's right there. Okay, so luckily it's still here in the Emerald... I mean, it, the, it's still here in the Alakir Desert. Wow, that was hard for me to say. Words are hard. I just hope I'm going the right way. Wait a minute. I think I went the wrong way. I think I definitely went the wrong way. Uh, okay. So what we're going to do is actually head to this way shrine that is somewhere over here or do I even have to let me see no I don't think we have to I think we've I think we kind of cheated our way there we have to go through all these people so I'm gonna let go of the fast pace just to get my stamina back on my mount and then Oh wait, no, I've already completed the quest on this, so they're no longer enemies. Very nice. Makes my life easier. For sure. Uh oh, these are bad guys though. Run! Get out of my way, Scorpion. I've seen a fair share of you around my house since I live in Arizona. Holy fuck! Oh no. Oh, okay, good. Oh, chest. Gotta get this. I'm almost maxed on my uh, lead ledger domain, so. I've been pick picking every lock. Okay, so maybe I'm a little off. But ledger domain is annoying to level. Ooh. I don't care if I die, but I'm. Holy crap, I'm scared of heights. <gasps> I can't believe I survived. Let's look around for a clue about song. Time out, okay? I think we found a clue about song. The Emerald Eyes Mage's Journal. Do I want to read this? No. You guys... <laughs> Not right now, at least, because I'm a horrible reader. If you guys would like to read it, go ahead and push pause. 
What okay. Did you find? A book? You tell me what I read. You found something. What does it say? Is there anything in there about Song? Uh, they're keeping Song in some place called Moltura Necop Necropolis. Let me see. Oh, good. There's a map. Never heard of the place, but Necropolis sounds bad. Looks like we need to spot a tomb door that's different from the others. Uh, what do you want to do, Ember? I say we go to the Metallian Necropolis, bust in there, make those emerald eye bastards wish they were dead, and rescue Song. That's my rough plan, anyway. Good plan. Sound good? Good. Let's get to it. Let's go. Is it with your Friends, God, your car? Did you find anything? I was wondering when we'd see you, big guy. You're facing the wrong way, Ember. Talk to Jaka. Okay, to Jai. This one let loose and ran through the sands. It felt good. Did you find anything in this place? Silversleep mentioned something about the Emerald Eye, but Song is not here. So we found out. <clears throat> we found out the Emerald Eye is keeping Song at a place called Molton Lian. Necropolis. This is good, yes? You are close to finding her then. Jaka is worried for gentle song. This one hopes you will find answers in Mortalian <clears throat> Necropolis. Same here. Is Silverslip close, close by? She needed to feed. She will catch up with this one shortly. This one senses her worry. Silverslip tries to hide it, but this one knows her too well. She is restless. And will remain that way until song is found. I Me mean, makes sense. Uh, it may be dangerous, though. Oh, do not worry. Jaka is not recovered enough to do any real combat. Silver Slip has already told me we must stay out of your way. We will leave any fighting to you and Ember. You are both very capable. But I mean, thank you. We will be close should you need us. Will do. Ember and I are headed to Molten Necropolis. Then. Silver Slip will be along soon. We will follow you to this necropolis place. Be careful, both of you. We will. No worries. Is this still in the Alakir Desert? I don't... Oh yeah, I see it. Okay, so I'm gonna go to this way shrine and I'm just gonna fast travel. Because there's no way I'm gonna run all the... Literally clear across the map. I lost it again. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I'm dumb, sorry. Bear with me, guys. Oh, it's this this one over here, right? Yes. Perfect. Okay. So now we go to this way shrine and then just go north. Luckily, it's not far from where we're at now. Oh, this was the place that had a bunch of Imperials, isn't it? I don't know anything about the story here. I just know that uh, there was a bunch of Imperials that had to do something to get. I don't know. Have to find a tomb that looks different from the rest. Tomb that looked different. Mother of all fish biscuits! Look at this place. All fish biscuit? Oh crap! Luckily, I don't really have to do much because. Ember's pretty capable. I mean, everyone says it. Here, let me gather everybody. You didn't come. You should be ashamed of yourself. I missed. This is a pretty decent build. Spin to win, baby. Spin to win. Wait, where? Was that always there? Or is this new? Tube of the Ember will die. We have discovered it, Ember. This has to be new. I don't remember this being here. Don't worry. 
Very nice. For not being a DPS main, this does pretty good DPS. Wait, where, what happened? Where'd she go? Oh, I have to destroy the wards, right? Duh, she just said that. Confinement ward. That's one down, Ember. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Confinement ward two. One more. Let me get my weapons ready just in case we get ambushed. Confinement ward number three. Let's do this! Yes, we are, Song! That's kind of messed up that they're doing it to their own family. Tava, <gasps> save me! It hurts. Please, it hurts. Who's Tava? It's hurting her. We need to destroy it. Hold on, I gotta inspect. Ember, what are you doing? Get out of here! It's really hard to see. Whoops. The Emerald Eye Relic. Song, are you alright? We heard fighting and could not help ourselves. Is everyone safe? Ember, Chaka, you're alive? How are you here? Don't forget about me, brother. <gasps> Yay, with the gangs back together! I was so close to losing all hope. And to see Ember again. My long lost sister at my greatest hour of need. And now my friends. Truly, Tall Papa has me in his case. And with that evil relic destroyed, I am free. Freer than ever before. She's got it like a bloody nose. Is that a piercing or is that blood on her eye? It looks like a piercing to me, but it's hard to tell with the or is that No that e that's an earring. That goes into a nose ring. Never mind, I thought it was blood. I'm about to say, whoa, they got pretty graphic for this for this uh quest. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Just tired. <clears throat> Thank you. But I must know. How did you find me? After all this time. The last time I saw Ember was the day the mercenaries took me, Silver Slip, and Jaka. I feared I would never see them again, much less here. Uh, Ember was searching for you for a very long time. Truly? Oh, I had all but drowned in grief, thinking that my family hurt them to get to me. Nope. I cherished Ember, Silver Slip, and Jaka more than anything. I tried to escape many times over the years in hopes that I might find them. Is the Emerald Eye a threat to you any longer? No. You ensured the terrible legacy of the Emerald Eye will fizzle out. Without their precious relic, my family has no need of me. I am free to pursue my own life and reunite with my friends. I am sure there is much for us to talk about. I'm sure there is. My treacherous family will fall to ruin, and I am free. My friends are alive, and the future blooms like a flower before me. Please. Discuss what you need to with Amber while I collect myself. She must wish to speak with you. Really quick though, what did the rel relic actually do? The Emerald Eye was found ages ago. It brought our family wealth and power in the form of visions. But only the women of the family could see such visions, and only by communing with the Eye. Then the Eye took and took until nothing was left. Is that why you ran away and ended up in Skywatch? Yes. I fled when I learned the truth and watched my mother succumb to the eye. It was horrible to watch her deteriorate. I did not want any part of it, but my family insisted. So I ran. I was lucky to find my friends, if only for a short time. I just don't understand how people could do this to their own family, you know? What will happen to the Emerald Eye organization now? <clears throat> Without the relic, my family will struggle and scrounge to maintain their power. Over time, their wealth will dwindle and they will be lost, I'm sure. With my father gone, there is no one to lead the Emerald Eye. I imagine it will dissolve in time. 
Uh, will you be safe? King Farah, uh, Faharajad, uh, has agents looking for you in the Emerald Eye. My father feared as much. But now that the Emerald Eye's source of power is gone, I doubt the king will maintain his interest in my family. As for me, I will speak to him myself if he seeks me out, and assure him that the Emerald Eye is no more. Nice! Uh, what will you do now, uh, once we get out of here? I... I do not know. Freedom was just a forgotten dream to me before this moment. Now there are possibilities. And thanks to you, I have my friends here to help. Maybe it's silly, but what I want most is to just be near them. I don't care where we go. I mean, that makes sense. You guys have been apart for so long. And you guys were really the only family you guys ever had, you know? Uh, you should, you should know King Far Faharajad promised to protect you should you need it. Really? Whoa. I suppose the king was bound to investigate the Emerald Eye's activities at some point. I'm grateful for his offer. I don't think it's necessary, but perhaps I could still speak with him about routing out the last bits of the organization. That really caught her off guard. She was not expecting that at all. Okay, so now we talk to Ember. For the first time in years, I feel like I can take a breath. I don't really know what to do. There's so much I want to say to my friends, so much I want to tell them. They've all been through so much, and so have I. I suppose. Huh. Is something wrong? No, I'm just thinking. I have carried this guilt and fear for a long time. Finally putting it down feels strange. Good, but strange. I think I needed to settle my past in order to move forward. I feel like a fog has been lifted. I'm glad to hear it, Ember. I really do. I knew you were special when I met you at Tordreyak, but I never could have guessed you'd be the one to help me stitch the pieces of my past back together. You've reunited me with my friends and become someone I trust. No small thing. Thank you. You're very much welcome. You helped me save Song and restore my family. My heart's lighter than it's been in years. I don't want to get emotional, but you have no idea how grateful I am that you're in my life. Aww. Adventuring alongside you is an honor. Please, take this. You're giving me you. Let's see what this says. I still think it's funny that it says that she's furniture. <laughs> uh, curled up in the corner, per, uh, perfecting a new spell. Just how much trouble could Ember get into? Why not find out? After uh, adding Ember to your home, you can set her on a path plus... Uh, you and your visitors can speak with her. Obtain by completing quest Green with MB. I feel like a child again, looking for the next adventure. Wondering what trouble I can get into. <laughs> Glad for my friends beside me to keep me strong. Now that the mystery's solved, I feel ready to take on all of Tamriel. Nothing can stop me now. Nice. Goodbye. Hold on. What does, what does this give me? Just her? I, I guess just her. So we're completely done then, right? So let's go ahead and go to our house and place her down in our house. Like we've done with each and every companion we have so far. There's going to be a point, probably whenever the next companions come, where I'm going to have to like remove some people. And if that's the case, I'm probably going to remove one from Blackwood and one from High Isle. If that's the case, I don't know who I'm going to remove, to be honest. Bastion, I like Bastion a lot, so I'll probably keep Bastion. But I like Miri a lot too, but I like Bastion just a tad bit more, you know? Okay, browse. House guests. Ember. As much as I hate sitting around doing nothing, sometimes it's kind of nice to slow down for a bit. I don't mind this place for that very reason. We're going to go through at least ten. If there's less than that, perfect. If there's more than that, we're just going to leave it at 10. I never had a place to call home as a kid. It's strange to me to have a bed of my own and a pillow to put my head on. But nice, too. I'm 
trying not to experiment too much with my spells here. It's a nice place. Probably nicer if it's not infested with magic toads. Though, that would be funny. When I lived with Magister Eren, he tried to lock me out of all the fun places in Tordoreox Tower. I like that I have a bit more freedom here. Good! People think it's strange that I don't talk like other Khajiit. I mean, I could try. This one, that one, you one, me one. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. She's so stupid. I have a suspicion that my mother was from elsewhere, but no real proof. I suppose I'll never know, but it's fun to imagine. I prefer to be optimistic about life. I mess up a lot, probably more than your average Khajiit, but at least I learn something every time. And I keep things exciting that way. Very nice. <laughs> People who are too careful with their magic are missing out on the fun. Part of the draw is the risk. They have a lot of lines. I'm working on a new spell to clean windows. I enchanted a broom and I'm calling it the Broom of Sparkle. Good, right? It, Mickey Mouse did that way before you, girl. I didn't have a home growing up, but I think if I did, I'd want it to be something like this. Nice. So that's it for that. Let's go ahead and place her down over here next to uh, Isabel. Isabel, you got a new little talking buddy. There you go. Nice. Now we got Bastion and Miri since we've completed their quests. And then we got Isabel and Ember. Woohoo. But all right, guys. That's going to do it for this video and this series. I got to say, I really thoroughly enjoyed this quest. However, the ending felt like it needed a boss that... It was very... I, I mean, I guess I could say... I guess what I wanted to say is that it's very anticlimactic in the in the boss fight area but the story itself with ember and her friends reuniting that part of the story was fantastic i just i wanted the i guess i wanted the boss to be more meaningful you like more powerful you know so that whenever we defeated it it could be a little bit uh, uh i guess it would feel better you know but overall though i i really did enjoy it if i had to choose which quest i liked better between isabel's and ember's i think i like isabel's substantially more although that's not to say that Ember's story is bad because again I liked it a lot as well it's just Isabel's story was just so much more fleshed out in my opinion but that's gonna go ahead and do it for this one and their series guys if you enjoyed it do me a huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said catch you guys in the next one deuces